I, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. Optional update KB5001391, that was last month's preview build optional update for Windows 10, 2004 and 20H2. Apparently the update fixes um, high CPU usage in your Windows 10 operating system and also some known start menu issues that have been um, bugging certain users of Windows 10 for quite a while now. Now, ahead of next month's Patch Tuesday, May 2021 update, um, Microsoft says they are ironing out some remaining bugs in the supported versions of the operating system. Basically, um, it's been reported that after applying some recent cumulative updates, um, some users have seen very high CPU usage, which is caused by the system processes, which run in the background, and this affects the performance of your Windows 10 operating system as a whole. So, if you just go to Task Manager, Performance. So, if you are seeing high CPU usage on your machine, where you know it's particularly high, so if I just go back to my processes, you can see my CPU is at 54, 47%. That's also because I am recording this at the moment as well. So if you are seeing very high CPU usage, then you might want to go and apply KB5001391, um, which was rolled out, as I said, last week as a part of the preview build update for Windows 10 versions uh, 20H2 and 2004. And apparently the update has fixed this problem with the CPU and some other important little fixes as well. So KB5001391 seems to have addressed this, this CPU issue, issue according to Microsoft. Now another issue that it has fixed, apparently there have been reports of a broken start menu and KB5001391 has also addressed an issue that causes blank tiles to appear on the start menu with the following names. Basically it says MS resource colon app name, MS resource colon app display name. So if you have been seeing some blank tiles on your start menu, then you also might want to go and um, download the optional update KB5001391. And it basically addresses the problem and prevents these blank tiles from appearing in your start menu as well. Now, as mentioned, um, KB5001391 is only available for Windows 10 versions 20H2 and 20.04 and if you want to get the update I did make a video on this last week but this is just a video to update you on you know just some of the more in-depth fixes that the update brought so as always if you want to get it just go to your, your settings update and security and by now it will most probably have downloaded and you will see optional update here in your updates and you can then install the update but now if you the update i'm talking about if you would just like to know if we go right down to the bottom and we go to other updates here's the update i'm talking about it was cumulative update preview for windows 10 20 h2 that's also 2004 kb5001391 so you should see it as an optional update here and you know, if you are experiencing the high CPU usage or, you know, the start menu tiles that are blank with, you know, the different names on them, then you could um, download this and manually install it and see if those uh, bugs are addressed. But, you know, if you're having no problems with your machine, as I mentioned in last week's video, you can wait for the uh, May uh, 2021 patch Tuesday update, which I think is around the 11th, 12th, or 13th of May, somewhere around there, which is going to be more stable and is obviously currently um, scheduled to launch in May. So if you aren't, if you're experiencing high CPU usage, um, start menu tiles that are blank, then do yourself a favor. You know, if you haven't installed it already, just download the update and see if that addresses that problem. And if you have no issues, then rather just wait for the Patch Tuesday 
cumulative update uh, next month. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.